what's up guys welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to take you guys along with me while i do ray's laundry um she was gonna be in this video but she was cranky and ready for her nap so she is asleep and i am watching her on this little camera um so i'm gonna try to knock out this video while she takes her nap so i wanted to do this video because one ray has a lot of laundry that i need to do anyways and two a lot of you guys always ask me where do you get her clothes um, what should I buy for my baby as a new mom? So I kind of wanted to go over those things for any new moms out there. Um, I am a new mom. I've only been a new mom for like almost four months. Uh, but I think I did get a lot of things that were helpful. Four months in, I've experienced what outfits I didn't like, what I liked, what are great. Because most babies sleep all the time. So I figured out what's great for sleeping because you want to do those quick diaper changes without having to take their whole outfit apart so i'm gonna go over the things that i think you should buy um and that i wouldn't really recommend or if you want to get it then that's totally up to you so first things first since i'm folding it you definitely need swaddle blankets one because they are so helpful at night when you need to swaddle um and they make for great burp cloths. Babies spit a lot, all day. <laughs> or maybe it's just my baby. So having one of these, I'm able to just throw it across me like this, and then I'll have her. So if she spits, it can come this way, it can go this way, and it won't get all over me. I've been hit a couple times, but that's just okay. That's what comes with the territory. So I would recommend getting some of these I like these swaddles because one they're super cute and I got mine from Amazon so I will also be leaving the link to these items down below I would recommend that you buy like five to seven I would at least have one for every day of the week so if you are like me we try to do laundry every week for everybody so we try to wash Ray's clothes once a week. Sometimes we miss a week and it piles up. Um, so when we do miss a week, we're out of blankets. So I would recommend that you wash every week. So if you're doing that, you should only need five to seven swaddles, um, swaddle blankets. But you might want to get a few extras just in case you have a really bad spit up um, and the blanket doesn't last as long as you need it to. The next thing you need are burp cloths these are really really good uh for spit ups as well but they're also good for just burping your baby so you can hold your baby and have this right by their mouth so when they burp and they do spit up you can catch it um it's just good for wiping their mouth having just a cloth over your shoulder when you're burping them i have a bunch of these i think we have like 20 of them so you're definitely going to need a lot a lot of burp cloths for a newborn I burp cloths oh and you need bibs so I have burp cloths bibs and swaddles all for the same purposes because like I said there's a lot of spit that goes on with a new baby so you need layer on top of layer on top of layer of protection so after you feed the baby you throw on the burp cloth spit you got I mean, the bib and they spit and then you got the burp cloth for the spit and then you got the swaddle more speed it's, it's just a lot so you just want to have all that you can to catch it but before i get into all the clothes i know you guys are going to want want to ask me like how is it being a new mom so far it's it hasn't been too bad so i think the first week or two weeks was the hardest um just learning how to breastfeed and the sleep schedule I think those two weeks was the hardest and then after that you kind of just find your groove and how you want to do things um so when we first brought her home uh she pretty much just slept all the time she she slept through the night but not really like she would just wake up to eat and then she would go back to sleep but it was just that she woke up to eat like every two hours so we had to wake up to feed her every two hours we didn't get to sleep that much but now that she's a bit older 
she still doesn't sleep through the night completely but she does sleep for long stretches so the hardest part is just getting her to go to sleep um right now she she'll wake up or we'll try to get her to bed at like seven but she'll sleep for like maybe an hour and then she'll get up and she just will not go back to sleep it's like a quick nap and then once we get her back to sleep then she'll sleep for a long time but speaking of sleep here are the things you need to buy for your baby to have a successful sleep night even though they're gonna wake up to eat um and you have to change their diaper having them in good sleep clothes is the best option so we like to use these sleep dresses i love 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 these for sleeping the reason why is because it's already open you don't have to fight with a zipper or a button or anything all you do is open it up and change their diaper and then close it and then they're still asleep or they're going back to sleep so we have a lot of sleep dresses and this is what I would recommend for nighttime sleeping the next thing you need for sleep is a swaddle sack sometimes like my baby Ray is a long baby she's like two feet uh, so she busts out of her swaddles pretty easily she will kick out of them um, when I do it in the blanket so you need to get one of these so all you have to do is put her in here or all we do is put her inside of this and then this swaddles them for you so all you do is put it across their arms and then the velcro and so that way they can't break out versus the blanket sometimes I do a good swaddle with the blanket then some nights you know you just tired and you like uh uh and then they break out of it and then they cry and Ray she needs to be swaddled because her arms she be doing like this all over her face in the middle of the night and she'll wake herself up so we need to swaddle her good and she'll try to fight it and break out of it but with these it's hard for her to break out of it so i would recommend getting these these are the halo uh sleep sack swaddles and then we also have just the sleep sack for like her naps or just whenever sometimes it's like it's like you think you know your baby and then the next day they show you something new about their cells because some days it's like she has to be swaddled and then some days she just be like I do not want to be swaddled get me out of this and she be crying and so the nights where she doesn't want to be swaddled and she wants her arms out we have just the plain sleep sack for her and it's, it just has her arms out there's no swaddle at all I definitely recommend this so this and then what I also love about this is that it zips up from the bottom. So whenever you have to change their diaper at night, um, you just zip this up from the bottom. You change their diaper and then you close it so you're not getting them unswaddled at all to change their diaper. Which is perfect because you definitely have to unswaddle with a swaddle blanket when you do that. So now that you have all those things, I would still recommend also that you get newborn clothes. So a lot of people told me when I was pregnant, don't buy no newborn clothes because their baby not gonna even fit those clothes when they come out and she almost didn't. I mean, <laughs> they weren't wrong, but um, not all newborn clothes are super small. So Ray was eight pounds, nine ounces. So she was a pretty big baby when she came out, but she still, fit her newborn clothes for like the first month month and a half um so i recommend this brand uh called kate quinn um these little cute patterns that you see like this one this one this one these like patterned uh outfits that you see is from kate quinn i love love Kate Quinn. The reason why I love Kate Quinn is because it's so affordable. If you're looking for like cute, super cute baby clothes, because I know some baby clothes, because I'm a shopaholic for my baby, some baby clothes are like 
kind of premium prices, kind of expensive, and you're like, do I really want to buy this or do I really want to pay $30, $40 for this and they're going to grow out of it next month? But Kate Quinn, like, I bought these for like $5, $7, $10. So I definitely recommend these and I like the material. So a lot of her newborn clothes, I think the reason why they lasted so long is because the Kate Quinn material is so stretchy um, that she was able to wear them for a longer period of time. And that's where I also get all her bows because you guys ask me, where do you get her bows? So this is one of the bows. So usually when I'm shopping for her, if I buy the pattern, I try to find the bow to match it. Um, so yeah, definitely recommend it. That's like where majority of her clothes are from. When it comes to raised clothes, let's talk about organizing. So a lot of people always ask me, how do I have her clothes organized? Um, so we have two places for her clothes. We have this rack that's behind me. And then we have the dresser uh, right next to me. So on the rack, we have a premium clothes that I like to call it the clothes that I like to put on display or that I think are just super cute or in season right now um, those are the clothes that I have hanging on the rack the other clothes that are uh, in season but they're not like a cardigan or a sweater um, but they're just like plain onesies or something I have them in the drawer so in my drawer, I used to have it organized by size. So I used to have it where it said newborn or zero to three months. And then I had it three to six, six to nine, nine to 12. Well, once she grew out of the newborn, I felt that that type of organization wasn't really um, functional because then I had no purpose for the newborn sticker label I had to take it off because she grew out of it and I didn't want it in the drawer anymore because she can't fit those clothes so instead what I do now I have the label set to current size seasonal next size and then too big so the current size that she is right now those are the onesies that I have folded up in the drawer. In the seasonal section, I like to put pants, shorts, or anything that's like, it could be worn in the winter or it could be worn in the uh, summer. It can be worn all year round type of thing. So all her pants and all her shorts are there. And then in the next size, I have obviously the next size. Um, so whenever it's time to switch out, I just move the next size to the current size and I don't have to change any labels. And then the last label I have is too big. It just means that it's a size that she's not yet or and it's not coming up. So those are the clothes that I put right there. And so that is the second drawer of our dresser. Um, and then the top drawer of our dresser is where all the diapers are, her toiletries, and like wipes and stuff like that. Because we have a little changing pad on top of the dresser. So whenever we're changing her, we just pull the top drawer, get a diaper, change her, and it's super quick. On the rack right here, as you can see, we have multiple baskets. So in the top basket up there, we have her uh bows or no her hats are up there so i used to keep the hats and the bows together but now i keep them separate because there's just too many to keep in one basket third basket which is this one is where we have anything that she can sleep in so things that she sleeps in is like long footy pajamas uh, the sleep dresses that I showed you and the swaddle sacks. They all go in this basket. Then this basket is the burp cloths and bibs. So that is basket number four. So that is where all her burp, burp cloths and bibs go um, for easy access. Um, so I don't even fold the bibs. I just kind of stack them all in front of each other. And then I just roll all the burp cloths inside the basket 
I don't know why I just started out rolling them and so I just kept it that way it's just easy to stuff the basket and roll it and then last but not least the bottom basket is her blankets this is where the blankets go and also her sheets so we try to change out her sheets um like at least one to two times a week because she does spit up on them um so that is where her sheets go you can find sheets for any bassinet pretty much on amazon that is where i got her sheets so we have some floral sheets this and then we have some just plain old gray sheets and so that is how i organize the baskets and then this bottom basket that you see behind me is where her dirty clothes go so i i don't know where i got this basket from i've had it since my old apartment but we got the the little laundry bag that you see inside of it i ordered that on amazon so it came in a pack of two so what we do is um when we when it's time to wash our clothes we take it out um and then we take it to the laundry and then we go ahead and cover the basket with the second bag that's inside so we try to keep the next bag under the laundry basket okay and so lastly so we went over what to buy how her clothes are organized so now let me tell you where you should shop so let me grab my phone because uh i promise y'all kate quinn is not the only place i shop but it is my number one so i like to shop at amazon and kate quinn those are my top two places to find baby clothes but you can also find cute clothes you know at target but i've only been to target once since she's been born so i can't really say that i shop there all the time but i actually got this from target before i found out it was for a little boy but this is what she wore on thanksgiving <laughs> but a few instagram boutiques that have popped up on my ads that have gotten my money uh I'm just going to name a few. The first one is Milk Monster Kids. I recently shopped there for Black Friday. Um, so I don't have the clothes yet. But they had a really good sale. So I shopped there. And then I also shopped at Reverie Threads, Mini Ollie, and Lucky Panda Kids. But um, yeah, so Lucky Panda Kids, Mini Ollie, Reverie Threads milk monster and i think it's three peas boutique that is where i got three peas boutique is where i got this sweater and then the little cardigan if we keep the cardigan in her diaper bag because that's like her jacket but the little cardigan that i have have put on her i put her on instagram in it um that also came from three peas boutique yeah i think that's it now as far as how we wash her clothes, we use we like to use uh, all clear and free laundry detergent uh, for her clothes. And then um, I pretty much just throw everything into one load. And then we use these laundry bas bags for her socks because they can get lost in the washing machine and in the dryer so we throw all her socks and her bows in here and that's how we wash her laundry so yeah that's pretty much it um i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have any questions leave them in the comments below i'm gonna try to do more like what i've learned since i've become a parent little videos but there's so much that i want to cover but i can't do it all in one video or the video is going to be like two hours long so today i decided to just focus on her clothes um go over where i buy her clothes how we store her clothes how we wash her clothes things like that so if you have any questions um you can leave them in the comments below while i finish up her laundry um yeah and if you want to see any other mom videos 
leave them in the comments below and we'll knock them out like this video if you enjoyed it um and subscribe make sure you hit that bell notification button so you don't miss any new videos we have a bunch coming your way this season so yeah i will see you guys in the next one